Poetato? Poetato? I should just kill myself now. Hi folks, welcome to my Terra Firma Craft, the new generation mod for Minecraft playthrough. Let's get this spelt correctly. There we go. Um, in our last episode, we were trying to prepare for preserving a bunch of food. Uh, to that end, we need vinegar. And for vinegar, we need alcohol, which requires either grains or potato or sugar. And we've got a fair bit of grains and potatoes, so that's fine. And I've got some alcohol here already. And this will become alcohol soon. But I also require fruit. And I don't have very much fruit. What I've been doing is my lemon tree here. I've been collecting the lemons on it. I haven't, don't know if it's got any more to give us or if it's done for the season. But the season is, if we have a look here, the season, there's still today and two more days to run. So my other fruit trees, this is a cherry, I believe, right? Yeah. So it's, it, it's time has passed. The only fruit trees I have left to, that'll give me anything are the apple trees and this peach over here. That's another apple tree, this peach here. <clears throat> And they're not big enough. I mean, this one might be big enough to give me some... Oh, it's another cherry. So none of the fruit still to come are big enough to really give me much in the way of fruit. And I need a lot more. So what I'm going to do is if we have a look... Animals, ores, crops... If we have a look at the map... Is here's the... Uh, here's where I got that the sapling for the lemon tree. So hopefully it still has some fruit on it for this season. So I'm going to run over there and collect what I can. And then when we get into the fall, this is the red apple tree that uh, I got mine from. And so I'll use that to gather more. Now I thought I had done a better job of marking. <laughs> of marking wherever I picked up any of my resources from, especially my food resources. But apparently, like, I've got two cherry trees marked, but I don't have the green apple tree. I don't have the peach tree marked. So, ah, uh, well, that's what you get. So anyway, so the first thing we're going to do is run over here and see if we can collect uh, some lemons from it. So let's do that. Uh, there's flowers. Ah, ah, yeah, we're in luck. There's fruit as well. Excellent, Smithers. Okay. Okay, let's uh, grab what we can. And it looks like we can grab a lot. That's very good. Punch a tree. I wish there was some way to get rid of that. Oh, maybe there is. I wish I knew of a way. That's a better way of putting it. I wish I knew of a way to get rid of that. I've tried actually punching trees. I can't remember if I did that on camera or not, but I actually tried to punch a tree into smithereens to see if that would do the trick and it didn't it doesn't make that go away it seems to me that once upon a time maybe in the original TFC it would go away as soon as you uh, cut something down with your first metal axe maybe that's just wishful thinking on my part okay well there's still flowers on it which means it's going to give me some more fruit if I wait around a bit what have I got so far? 17? That's nice. That's a nice start. There we go. So it takes four pieces of fruit to create an entire barrel of vinegar. So right now we have, well, now that'll give us another half barrel of vinegar. Another? A half barrel of vinegar. We don't have any yet, I think. Oh, I think I made a very small amount of vinegar for something. Ah, there we go. Oh, actually, it's getting late. We'll come... We've got a couple more days yet, so we'll come visit the tree again. All right, so I'm going to head back home, and I'll uh, pick you up when I get there.
uh, assuming I don't have to fight something on the way back. And I shouldn't have to fight anything on the way back because I already killed off everything out here. So I will meet you back there. See you then. Okay, I'm home again. It's night, so I, I want to go to bed. So we don't not doing things in the dark, but I really want to also get this uh, vinegar process started now while we can. So the way it's supposed to work is for every 1,000 millibuckets of uh, alcohol, you need four pieces of fruit. So to do this 4,000, I need 16 pieces of fruit. What I'm interested in is up here, I have two and a half thousand millibuckets. So does it only do it in even numbers of four fruit or not? So this should require, uh, let's see, 2,000 would be eight, 500. So this should require 10. So let's see if we actually get 2,500 millibuckets of vinegar. Whoops, need to unseal it first. Out of this. Or if it rounds it down to 2,000. Uh, meanwhile, this guy here, four, he would need 16. I don't have 16 lemons yet. Let me quickly check to see if I have any inside. Oh, I need to drink. Ah, and I can show you something else I did. I put in a mod, I created a mod pack to quieten down the drinking sound. Eh, no longer so deafening. All right, well, let's look for some lemons here. Ah, lemons. Perfect. Okay. All right, so for this, what, what, what do we say it was? It was 4,000, so I need 16 lemons. So three, four of the new ones. And it all has to be in one stack. So we play the squash it down into a single stack game. All right, we've got all of our vinegar started. Let's hit the sack. Meet you back here when it's bright. Actually, this is going to go through fast enough that I don't need to cut. There we go. We're back. And I'm hungry. What have I got to eat that's on me? Five days. Oh, I have some stuff in here. It's going to go bad soon, don't I? Do, do, do. Those soybeans, how are they doing? Five days. Ah, plenty of time for the soybeans. Gooseberry. I bet you the gooseberries are all gone. Oh, yeah. Oh, but the blueberry's still good. Gooseberry's rotten. Ah. Be gone, rotten gooseberry. I need to cook up that meat, too. So much to do, so little time. Uh, what else was in here? Potatoes and bell peppers. Carrot. I had something else here. Ah, the cooked chevin. Yeah, yeah. I thought I had something here that... Oh, it's got 15 days to go. Ugh, what am I worrying about? Three days for the tomatoes, though. Okay. Let's grab ourselves six tomatoes. We're going to be eating tomato sauce all day, every day, for the next few days. All right. Um, this uh, rice may have become sake now. Nope, still not yet. This, I don't think it's become... Oh, it already has become vinegar. And it did become 2,500 millibarrels. Okay, so it's really, rather than saying that it's four fruit per 1,000 millibarrels, it's one fruit per 250 millibarrels. Oh, God. Okay. This guy's not done yet, though. That's interesting. Oh, he, he just finished up now. <laughs> what timing. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of, uh, of vinegar now. So let's, uh, do I have the bucket on me? I do. Let's open him up. Open him up and let's get the vinegar out of him. All right. He's done. You know, he still has 500 millibuckets in him. And I can't get that out, huh? I mean, I can I can destroy the thing and get rid of it, but I can't use that 500. Well, we'll see. Anyway, we have 6,000 mil buckets there. What is this? This is brine. Oh, yeah, that's what I did before. I, I did make a bit of vinegar before, and I made brine out of it. 
Okay, so we want a lot more brine. What's in here? Milk. Oh, speaking of milk, got to do the animals, the animacules. I shouldn't need to feed them, but I do need to go milk the cow. Oh, we've got some lemons up there. Excellent. There we go. I haven't bothered to look up to see when the, uh, how long the gestation period is on the sheep yet. Pick them as soon as I can, because the sooner I pick them, the sooner new ones will come in. And I've only got a couple of days left. Oh yeah, that's, let's go do that as well. Put a ladder on my little stack there. Um, actually, let's go put the milk in the milk container first, before I forget. Alright, just come over here somewhere, and this is sand, goes in here, let's get the dirt out. Okay, now at least I've got room. Because if I pick more lemons, there'll be a different timestamp, and so they'll go into a different stack by default. Okay. Any others? No. Yeah, see. Well, actually, no, they did go into the same one. That's interesting. Hmm. Maybe when you pick them... They go into this, they adopt the timestamp of the stack they're going into. That's interesting. But anyway, these are close enough together in time. I can merge them together with the usual problems. All right. Um, another blueberry coming in. Have some fruit, Dean. Just called myself Dean again. It's not like I'm really trying to hide my name or anything, but you know, just the channel is my knife, so I should call myself my knife, don't you think? Okay. So now that we have the vinegar, oh, we need to make more brine. We have brine. Ah, yes. Okay. This is the thing. Okay. Now that we can pickle things. Hmm, maybe I can put this 500 to use. So you see we have some garlic here. Now the way it's supposed to work, I think for pickling it's supposed to be eight food items per 1,000 millibarrels or something like that. that. That's what it's supposed to do, but what I found is that it, that is the pickling mechanic is broken and it seems like no matter what amount of vinegar you have and what number of items you have, all of the vinegar will get consumed every time. You see, it's allowing me to pickle these 36 garlic, even though I only have five millibuckets of vinegar in there. And it shouldn't do that, right? I should need, I don't know, like something like eight, 32, four. I should need like 5,000 millibuckets or something like that. <clears throat> So the thing to watch out for is, let's say we've got a big one like this. If you put even one food item in here and close it up and let it pickle, it will use up all of the vinegar and it shouldn't. So you have to like, we have to be really careful on how we parse out, dish out this vinegar. Okay, so do I have any more brined food? That's empty, come down here. That's not brined. I don't think anything there is brined. Okay, let's grab these yellow peppers. Have myself some, oh. Yeah, because we have a whole bunch of yellow peppers to come in. Let's gather those up. 
Can I any of them over here? Right? No. Okay. And more over here. And we'll get these brining. So once again, do the combination shuffle. One more. Oh, 64 is the uh, maximum for the stack size. Okay. Boom chakalaka. There we go. And we're thirsty again. And to harvest the corn again. Okay, seven. Oh, I got one more nice to start out with. I really don't think there's enough time left for uh, this to come in, for the for the corn to grow again. But I can always recover the. Uh, I can recover the seeds if it gets too cold. Oh, and I figured out how to tell these when these are ripe. You notice the very base of these is kind of a reddish color. Let's see if we've got some other ones over here. No, nah, these ones aren't far enough along yet. And this one's ripe as well. It's a reddish color. Anyways, the base is more brownish, brown than red, when they're not quite ripe. Maybe I have one over here. Uh, anyway, so I can look for that, and that's how I tell that apart. Okay, so that's that done. We've got some food in brining, and it's time to hit the sack again. I'll uh, see what I can do. So we get all this stuff brined up. The, the one nice thing about the bug with the vinegar is it means that we can... Uh, preserve an entire friggin stack like if we come in here now this is now brined and pickled 36 of them and that was how we got rid of the 500 millibuckets yay so we have an empty bucket here now throw it down here somewhere okay um so is this brining done it's brined, oh, and that's empty. So we're gonna have to make some more brine. But first off, let's uh, put down my empty bucket a little bit too soon. Let's grab one. There we go, one bucket of vinegar, throw it in this barrel and then take our where there are 64 yellow peppers and pickle them. Okay, now if we look at the ones we did pickle, here they are, garlic. Uh, it says I got about 79 days. That's probably what it was to begin with. Um, the uh, But to preserve them, they have to be sitting in vinegar. So see, it says preserving in vinegar. And they won't last forever in there, but it goes up to like 730 days or something like that. I can't remember, but, um, but we want to, uh, pickle a few more things. So let's, da, 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 da. that's now an empty barrel. So I don't think I can pull the same trick. with preserving the food. I think the preserving the food works correctly. If I put that in there, uh, see it doesn't say preserving because I've got too many. So for, so the preserving is working correctly for that one. Um, uh, every eight food items uh, consumes, uh, or doesn't consume it, but requires a thousand millibarrels. The nice thing is that doesn't get consumed um, it just, you just need that much to have it. So 
36 divided by 8 is 4.5. So I would need, well, just, just to show it. So if I put, if I try to put 9 of these in here, that'll still be too much. But if I put 8 in, now it'll preserve them, right? I'm a, oh, I do have an extra inventory slot. Always tight for inventory. Okay, um, let's close you up for now. You're doing your pickling. Ah, you've now turned into sake. So you are now alcohol. And we can turn you into vinegar. We will need 20 fruit. I just happen to have 20 fruit right here. It feels, you know, I can almost feel, almost feels like a real farmer in the one sense that uh, fall arrives and suddenly you're very, very busy. Yeah, I should add it in there. So let's get the, uh, too much stuff going on here. I have a sheepskin I got to do something with. Uh, I've got to feed myself. Yeah, let's do the feeding first. Oh, and we've got to go milk the cow. Still no little lambs. Once I've got uh, nine buckets worth in the barrel of milk, <clears throat> I'll take some, some of the vinegar and use that to make cheese. Whoops. Oh, here's my milk girl here. Oh, it's trying to... It's a container, so it's trying to fill it with milk. Okay, so actually... That's... This has got vinegar in it. Let's close him up. Let's get these guys swapped around. Except, of course, I'm out of inventory again. Always, always inventory bound. It's the name of the game. Let's get some seeds out of here. Yep. Eventually I have to cook those up. That'll get them out of the way for the moment. Okay. Let's sort these two guys out. Uh, this is the milk barrel, so let's put the milk barrel over here, away from all of our other preserving stuff. And this is a barrel we can actually use for preserving some stuff. Not very much. So. Okay, since we've got another... That's vinegar. Since we have another 5,000 vinegar on the way... I would really like to preserve... What have I got here? I've got 400, 4,000 more, 5,000, and I said I needed, uh, Okay. Yeah, I know, I'm muttering to myself again. So, one, two, three, four will be 32. And that should require four buckets. Oops, got to open him up first. That's his second bucket. Third. Fourth. Okay. And now we should be able to put 32 in there and have them preserved. We got a tiny bit of vinegar left there, but we'll soon have, I keep going the wrong place, we'll soon have a bunch more over here. Oh yeah, these have all been brined, that's an entire stack. So to preserve that entire stack, I am going to need 64 divided by 8, 8,000 millibuckets. I need to make more booze. And I need to drink. Uh, 
Ah, oh, I love that quieter sound. What else we got going on? We got some more grain coming in. That's barley. It's more barley over here. We got all these onions coming in. <clears throat> There's no way I'm going to be able to, to make enough booze and vinegar to preserve everything. Oh, speaking of which, any more lemons come in? Not here. Let's quickly run over to that to the other tree, other lemon tree, and check it out. Well, not exactly a cornucopia, but there are a couple more lemons there, so I'll take what I can get. Are there any up top that I'm missing? Ah, one right at the very top there. So we didn't did pretty well out of our out of this tree and our own our one back home I don't think I'm going to get anything else out of it where are we last day yeah this is the last day of summer and I don't think the apple trees start producing until um, <clears throat> until mid-autumn I don't think they produce in early autumn we'll see but I'm pretty sure that's correct Okay, back home I go. See you when I get there. So I'm just uh, cooking up this mutton that was about to go bad. Oh, I gained, I gained two days out of it. Uh, do these guys as well. These die in one day. These die in two, two days. <laughs> Gotta eat all this food. I can actually make it last longer if I put it into a, uh, put it in there, put it into a vessel, uh, nothing else to do with that. Okay, and then we hit the sack again. See ya in the AM. And then the usual routine, gotta milk the cow. Oh, and now we should be into uh, fall, right? Autumn, yeah. Early autumn. Now my most sensitive crops are going to start kicking the bucket. Oh, it's too early. Okay. So I'm afraid my sugar cane is probably past its time. I also figured out how to tell when the sugar cane is done is you see there's these little bars the solid bars there's one there one there one there so three when they're fully grown there's a fourth one on top and if these guys haven't gotten there by now they're probably not going to make it in time but we'll see we'll keep them on the ground until they until they croak but we do have a bunch of barley here and we can use that barley to make more booze. Let's thresh it first. Okay, and we need to thresh our corn. Okay. Actually, you come here. There. That'll reduce the storage requirements a tiny bit. All right, and to site that should really go elsewhere. Okay. So we have the barley. Where's all of our grains? There's our grains. So for now, I see the barley is uncooperative again. Combine them down. Put them in. Put you back out here. And now grain. Okay. <laughs> this whole process, right, is just it's just too complicated. You gotta you gotta make the booze and then you have to turn the booze into vinegar and then you have to get salt water and use the vinegar to make the brine then you have to brine the food and then you have to put it back in the vinegar to it's just it's just too much 
but hey, let's open him up. Transfer that across. All right, and what I want to do here is, am I going to have enough? Oh, okay, so this is what I was going to say. So when we're making vinegar, it's one fruit for every 250 millibuckets. But when we're making alcohol, it's one grain for every 500 millibuckets. So you only need half as much grain. So just, there's just too many vague, various details. Now, to be fair, um, uh, the TNG has, has simplified a little bit of it, but it's still too far too complicated. Okay, so I need to fill this up with water and I need to grind a bunch of this maize down to grain. Um, so I only need 20 of the grain. And uh, you've seen me fill buckets be or fill barrels of water before, so you don't need to see me do it again. So I'll bring you back in shortly. Okay, so I've got my, there we go. I got my 10,000 millibuckets of fresh water, my full barrel of fresh water. <clears throat> I've ground my 20 uh, corn grain into flour, put it in, and we're going to get some whiskey. Yeah. All right, so the next thing we need to do is to brine up some more food. What's the time? Oh, it's almost time to go bitty by. So let's quickly find something we've got a lot of. Five red bell peppers, that's all green. 21 carrots, 19 tomatoes, 24 onions. Oh, and I've got more onions coming in, don't I? Uh, I need to process this too. I've got more jute. I was begging for jute once upon a time, and now I've got more than I know what to do with. Hmm, hope that's enough water. Let's uh, make sure it is. That should do. Okay. Oh, the other thing I have on me is this is the uh, sheepskin that I got from killing the elderly sheep. And just because I've never done one on camera, is you can put a knife in here to cut the wool off of it. And then that just gives you a hide. However, oh, I got a hide in here. It hides in here. And then you can put the hide into the lime water to soak it. And... These sides here need to be scraped and processed, but I've done that in a previous episode, so I won't bother with it again. Oh, it's getting too dark. Another bad time. So I'll run around and harvest. I think I'll just harvest everything that's ready to be harvested. And then that way I'll know how much of everything I have. Nothing there. And concentrate on the big ticket items first. Is that guy done? I don't think so. These guys are all done here. Yep. More garlic, I think. Yep, more garlic. Uh, these, that guy's done. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Whoops, he's not done, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, he is done. Three, four, five, six, seven, and he's done. He's done. That tomato is ready. Whoops. <laughs> Let me guess. Inventory full again, right? Alright, let's at least we can throw out some seeds or get some seeds out of the way. That's for the tomatoes. And then over here we have some more onions that are ready. Yeah, and at least now I'm getting a lot more seeds from them. Like, where are the onion seeds? Well, okay, onion seeds are a bad example. Because, in this case, I didn't... Every time I want to show you guys my, uh... 
uh, where is it here? By agriculture. Oh, I'm a master now. Agricultural mastery paying off by me getting extra seeds. That's the one time I don't get any extra seeds. I know. You don't believe me. It's true. Oh, I don't have any room for that. Okay. Um, was that everything need to be harvested over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, carrots are not ready. Oh, we have some more garlic. I think I'm going to be living off garlic this winter. I'm going to be living off pickled garlic. Mmm. Does that sound like a treat or what? Okay. Uh, that is regular garlic decays. Yeah, okay. Uh, come on, get it down to one stack. There we go. I got onions there, tomatoes there, some beets there, some carrots. Those carrots are too. Ooh, my bell pepper. I was too slow. That last. Uh, red bell pepper uh what did i have here the beets are 31 days i had a carrot here that's about to go yeah so that'll be the next thing i eat uh, a bunch more garlic seeds okay so i think you guys get the drill now on this we make booze oh i'm gonna need to make more brine too Uh, we make booze by putting either potatoes or sugar or some grain flour into a barrel of water. We turn the booze into vinegar by throwing in some fruit. For brine, we get nine buckets worth of salt water and then throw in one bucket of vinegar to give us brine. Then we take our food and we brine it. And then we pickle it and then once it's pickled we put it back in vinegar to store it like we have here this stuff is stored there now you can see how long it's stored for 794 days so it's not indefinite but it'll last probably the duration of this series so okay so i think i've taken you through that and you're i don't really think any, i mean you can tell me in the comments if you want to see me run back and forth filling up barrels but I'm pretty sure you don't so I'm going to finish processing the harvest milking the cows and uh, if the sheep get born I'll, I'll bring you back in for that I mean that won't be this episode but in next episode if the sheep are born then we'll start off with the with the new sheep but otherwise next episode we'll find something a little bit different to do than just all this running around I'll see you then thanks for joining me bye